So if we start with one of the one of the origins of the Indiana Academy, actually we have to go back 360 some years, if not longer, back to Renaissance France, King Louis the Fourteenth and Cardinal Richelieu. They started a thing called the French Academy, and that years later became the model and the inspiration for the Indiana Academy. What the French did was they wanted to induct people who had made such significant contributions through their words, their deeds, their ideas. Have those people serve as inspiration and role models for others. So see this good person's actions, recognize it, and then encourage others to go on and do the same thing. Now, skip forward to uh, 1943, Indianapolis, and to a very successful lawyer named uh, Kurt Ponzer. By reputation, he was our Renaissance man. He had a passion for uh, independent higher education, now, independent, of course, meaning private uh, non-profit colleges and universities. He was also, as, as reported over and over again, a lover of erudition and eloquence and fine food and wines and stately events. And he infused all of those down the line into the academy. So. Uh, in 43, he brought together some heads of uh, independent colleges and universities and some, as they were described in the paper, business persons who were interested in higher education. Uh, at that time, Ponzer was also trying to encourage them not only to get together, uh, but to form an Indiana Academy. Well, that group, with Ponzer pushing and encouragement, did form what was then called the uh, Associated Colleges of Indiana. Got to be known later as the Independent Colleges and Universities of Indiana, and today, of course, for short, is Independent Colleges of Indiana. Here they go to into business in 1970, and not surprisingly, Ponzer is named the first president. What are the purposes? of the Academy. Let me read this because it's in the Articles of Incorporation and the, the, the reason to be remains the same. To encourage and promote charitable, business, scientific, literary, civic, cultural, and educational advancement of Indiana. Every Academy dinner is memorable and special to the inductees. And you can, you can see, feel, experience the emotions they're going through and the pride they have for being inducted. Uh, it's part of, I think, of the Academy fulfilling its uh, mission.